Hi everybody, this is Emily with the NetZoom team, here to show you how to visualize your data center in 2D and 3D using NetZoom. With so much data being collected from your data center every day, parsing and interpreting the data can seem like a daunting task. NetZoom's robust 2D and 3D modeling allows you to visually visit your data center from the comfort of your desk, delivering device information, space, power, temperature, and other metrics along with the devices and racks. NetZoom's asset visualization tools make it easy to detect patterns, trends, and outliers in your data center to keep everything running at maximum efficiency. First, we'll need to log into our NetZoom application. Enter your NetZoom application server URL in the web browser. Then, of course, enter your username and password. Let's navigate to the Data Center feature under the Data Center menu. The Infrastructure Explorer displays our Data Center infrastructure in a tree view, with the site at the top level, followed by buildings, floors, rooms, and finally, logical locations such as rows and zones. Let's look at this room, our Data Center floor. As you can see, we are presented with a 2D representation of our Data Center. With our individual racks and rows, as well as zones A, B, and C, and the utility zone down here. If we select the room, in this case the room raised floor, and click the show power button, you, we will see that each rack and row is highlighted based on power consumption. The darker yellow and orange colors are closer to the power threshold for these racks, rows, and zones. You can see the legends down here showing the different colors and what percentage they are and how close they are to the threshold. Now, let's look at a 3D representation of this data center floor. As you can see, this shows us the same view of our data center in full 3D. With every rack we have installed visible in a three-dimensional view, along with other devices, in this case the UPS devices available in the utility zone. Let's examine some of these racks more closely by taking a look at row A100. We'll select the 3D tab, and once it loads, as you can see, we're now looking at this row of racks in 3D. Not only do we get to see the racks themselves, but also the devices installed on each of these racks. They're even labeled for our convenience. If we click the temperature button, our racks will be overlaid with the temperature information. Notice the colors. Temperatures closer to the rack's threshold will be shown in darker colors, such as red, while lower temperatures are shown in green. NetZoom includes buttons at the bottom to overlay power, temperature, and RU space. You can also select any data field you want to display by clicking this button, the Select Data Fields button. The Capacity Data form will pop up with a drop-down list allowing you to pick the parameters you want to overlay in your data. You can change these at any time by selecting it in this drop-down list and clicking the Save button. You can also rotate your row of racks and zoom in and out using your mouse or using the buttons on the bottom left. You can download a screenshot of this 3D view by clicking the Save button. When we look at a single rack, our visualization becomes even more robust. By selecting a rack and clicking the 3D view, we can see a similar view to the row of racks, with each of the devices installed on those racks shown in great detail. However, when we click on one of our visualization buttons, such as power, we can see that not only do we see power for the whole rack, but the individual devices as well. We can see data for every device installed on this rack, including the side-mounted power supplies. You can similarly download a screenshot of this 3D view by clicking the Save button. And finally, if we click the Configuration tab, we can easily see where everything is mounted on the rack. Remember that this view can also be downloaded as a PDF file using the Save button. These NetZoom shapes are also available in Microsoft Visio using the NetZoom Visio add-in. We'll go over using the NetZoom Visio add-in in another video. That covers the basics of data visualization using NetZoom. Remember, data visualization is a very broad topic and we've only scratched the surface of what NetZoom can do. Please check out our other videos for more tips on how to use the NetZoom product. And if you're interested in trying NetZoom for your own data center, visit netzoom.com to schedule a free demo.